Hello, it's Sarah. And I have my, um, I ordered um, a Midori Traveler's Notebook and it didn't come. It was supposed to come today. I got ordered it from Amazon and now it's saying it's coming tomorrow. So I was hoping to have that to compare to show you guys what a faux dory is. But basically a Midori is just a piece of leather that wraps around a bunch of books. Like these are, I got these at um, Staples, but I think, and they're five and a quarter by three and a half. They're about the same size as Field Notes, which is another type of a notebook like this. It's basically a saddle stitched book that can be switched out. Um, it's, it's, what it's the filler for what you put in this Midori Traveler's Notebook. So this is a faux dory, a fedori. I don't know what you're, how to say it, but um, I got my leather at Michael's and I got the elastic bands at Joann's, but basically you put together um, whatever size notebook you're gonna be using is what size you cut the leather to. So I basically just use these little booklets as my template. I found these at Staples. So I just kinda went with it. And the, the leather that I used was actually, um, AC Moore didn't have it, but Michaels has it. It's by Art Minds and it's eight and a half by 11 inch sheets. And I got one in brown and one in black. So I just basically cut that in half so that it was um, seven by, uh, wait, wait, eight and a half by eight and a half by five and a half. Yeah, eight and a half by five and a half. So this is five and a half. Yeah. Um, and then you fold it over. So this is eight and a half by five and a half. Yeah. Um, and this one fits three books really nicely. I have them. Now, if you haven't seen the Midori's Traveler Notebook, it's, it's, kind of, it works with these elastic bands that are um, in the um, binding of the book, okay? So you have, and the way I use the tutorial on YouTube by Ray Blake, and I think he sells these on his Etsy store. So if you guys wanted to get one from him, there's a lot of different people that make these. Um, some people dye their own leather or whatever you do to leather. This is the first time I ever worked with leather, so it was really fun for me. You know how I love to try new things. So um, I basically, like I said, just got this leather and it's, what, it, however it was is what I did. Like the black is really kind of smooth on the outside and the brown is a little different. Like this, I mean, it's, so you can see the sheen. There's like a sheen to it, but so basically I used my crocodile to, to punch holes in this because it's a good enough punch for me. I didn't have, um, there's a leather punch and a bunch of leather stuff too. But, um, so I just punched two holes in each end and a, at about the length of the book so that because the book is going to go in there, it goes in the spine. I wanted to, um, have it be tall enough. So then you also, I made this rubber band. This is like a band. This is how Midori does it. They have these bands. And so I'm going to take two of these books and connect them with this band. So you open it up to the center and then you take the other book and open it up to the center and then you connect them with this rubber band. So now you have two books connected at their spines like that. And then you go under the biggest um, elastic of your, of your binding. So that's two books, but you can also put one in between. So you just take that same band that you just went under and go to the middle of this book. So that's three books. So you can see how one, two, three, there's three books in there. And this fits pretty good. I think you could probably do four, one more book if you did two the same way, the first two, but I like it with three. I think three, oh, I think I did it upside down. Cause I put a little charm. I just hung a little charm on that um, since there was a loop there. 
and I put it, I'll show you the one, I, the ones that I'm keeping, but this is just, um, a pretty basic one. I'm also making my own notebooks too now because I watched another tutorial by Mo Howard. That's the one I liked. She teaches you how to, um, uh, it's so simple. It's called the saddle stitch, right? And I've done this before. I think I only used three holes, but she uses five holes. So you just make a little template um, and lay it in your um, in your book. Like this one, this one I made with just some graph paper that I had. And this is the paper, the die cuts with a view pack that I've been making my pocket letters with. So I just cut some of that cardstock up and this one I made with graph paper. I think I put about 10 sheets in here because it's kind of a thin paper. So that one came out kind of thin, like compared to one of these. I mean, it's definitely thinner. But I think for, you know, for a free, basically, it's pretty fun. It's pretty easy to make. Um, but I did also make this one. I had some tea dyed and coffee stained, I don't know, both I think, um, papers that I was gonna use for junk journals, so I decided to try some of that. And I put, I don't know how many, maybe 10 of them in there, but that seems much fatter because it's um, kind of wrinkly. It got wrinkly from being um, tea dyed. So those are two books that I made compared to, you know, this, so they can go in there. Um, I also made this, um, one and this one could be kind of considered my my art journal because what I did was and I'm just holding this closed with a rubber band for now. This one I made with drawing paper, like the regular Canson drawing paper, so that I could like zentangle and um, zen doodle on here or whatever it's called, um, you know, zendangle. So and then this one, well, this one's just the regular line paper, and then this one. I'm holding it closed because it's way thick. I put um, watercolor paper in this one. And this is pretty thick. Like I would probably, mm, I forget what pound it is or whatever you call it. I think it's 110. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's only 90. Maybe the higher the number, the smaller, but it's pretty thick. So I only put like five sheets in there and then they're doubled, so it's 10 but that's not really staying closed too well. So I think I'm gonna play with that a little more, try to um, get it to stay closed. But then this could be my art journal, just a little on the go art journal. Like if I went to Franz again, um, I could just bring this and some watercolor pencils and some, you know, and then I just put a little charm on that. And then this one is like considered my, um, this could be like a writing journal. Um, this is from Michael's and it's a shortcuts, <coughs> excuse me, a metal connector, they call it. And what, before you tie the knot for this part, you just loop it through. So it's like a little charm on there. And I had this in my stash and it just matched. So, but this is the brown leather and it's like, this one has a sheen to it, but this one's more dull and I don't know, I like this one better. Um, but this one just has three of the lined books in it for now. Um, and that way I can just journal in that, like a regular journal. So we'll see. Uh, I almost feel bad that I ordered the uh, Midori because these are super cute. I mean, they're super cool. They're very easy to make. Um, so I'll see, I'll see if I actually even use them, you know? And then this one was, this one was kind of messed up because the leather was ripped inside, so I kind of glued that. Actually, it's looking better now. Um, and then, like, the staple marks were there. I mean, it's not bad. And I just hung, this is just a charm from my stash. It's just an S. Um, because you don't have to put a charm on it. Like, for a guy, you know, he, he wants to take notes, too, or he's a writer or whatever. So he just uses it like this, and it's just plain. And I just put um, three plain books in there. So really easy, guys, if you guys feel like playing with leather or if you like um, journals. So I'm going to go see what this looks like. Thanks for watching.